This video was cut from a longer video where I did every maintenance activity in the manual. If you want to check that one out, link up top, link in the description. Make sure the motor is stable. It's not going to fall over on you while you work. And make sure that the trim on the motor is locked. You don't want it tilting down into position while you've got your fingers under there. Enjoy the video. Basic oil change. Do it every 100 hours. Do it once a season if you don't hit 100 hours. Marine grade four cycle. 10W30 oil. Three four, five, and six horsepower all take 15 ounces. So I've got a really basic measuring can here. Here, yellow cap is the oil fill cap. So I'm gonna go ahead, take that guy off. On the pull start side, on the bottom of the motor relative to the handle, you can see drain plug there. We're gonna pull that drain plug off, let it drain out. The drain plug is a 10 millimeter hex head. So grab yourself a 10 millimeter socket and take it off. We're gonna crack it and drain the used spent oil into a bucket. And one thing I like to do is the first bit that comes out, I like to sample, because that's where you're gonna have a lot of sediment, just to see if there's any, any metal shavings um, or any contamination in there that's settled down to the bottom. So we'll give this a little crack, get the bucket under there. Once it's loose enough to loosen it, there it goes. Don't lose the drain plug. It looks pretty, looks pretty good. No metal shavings. All right, it looks like it's about done draining. Got a couple of drips. Once I take a sample, look for metal shavings. I also like to give it a little smell just to make sure there's no gas. I'm also looking for any water standing on top, any discoloration. I always like to put a little bit of the fresh oil in. Now we've pushed some of that um, old oil out. Now it's time to put the drain plug back in. Put a little bit, put a little bit on my finger. I'm gonna make sure the drain plug is lubricated and has a good seal with that oil. It's thumb tightened down. Now we'll tighten it the rest of the way. You don't wanna give it too much force or you'll strip it. It's definitely not something you wanna do. So I usually, I don't know how many Newton meters it recommends, but give it a snug it in. Now it's time to fill it back up with oil. Snug it down. And let's check the fill level. If you can see it. kind of clear but it's dead on that is it